It's time to wake it up. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's time to wake up and cake it up. I'm gonna make a cake that looks exactly like a bagel. You can serve this to your husband or your children for breakfast and they'll think, oh, a bagel again. And then it's cake. Taking the cakes out of the pan with a regular palette knife. In order to start shaping, I'm gonna cut it to the height of an actual bagel. It's not about being level, so you don't have to sweat it. First, we're gonna start by shaping the cake to look like a bagel. We can just cut off the edge of the cake to make it more rounded. You can just give this bowl of scraps to somebody and they would be happy. Just little by little, because it doesn't have to be perfect. A cake like this takes about 10 minutes to shape. You can just pick it up and turn it to round your bottom. Really take your time because you can always take more off if you don't like the way it looks, but putting it back is difficult. Don't whittle it down to be a little tiny bagel. <laughs> but they make many bagels, so you can just use that. We're gonna get to the part that makes it a bagel, which is the hole in the middle. We're gonna do one more bagel so that when we display it, it will be really cute and believable. I'm gonna try and make this cake bagel look slightly different than the first, just because no two bagels are alike. I'm thinking it looks good. Buttercream time! This is where I like to use an offset spatula. We're just gonna crumb coat the cake. So we're just gonna take a little bit of buttercream and ice it and really sort of press into the cake to keep all of the crumbs in. Later on, when we put fondant on the cake, it's nice and smooth. So once you've finished crumb coating your bagels, we're gonna pop them in the fridge for 20 minutes so that we can ice them again later. While your cakes are chilling, we're gonna make some beautiful little sesame seeds and we're gonna make poppy seeds too. So we're just gonna dye our 10 grams of white fondant. Ivory food coloring and just add little by little because again, you can always add more but you can't take it away. These little details are really important. The easiest way I find to make them is to just take a little piece, roll a little ball, flatten it and pin it. You could keep doing this until you feel it looks good. When you get a shape that you kind of like, just drop it and do it again. 10 down, 190 to go. Imagine an army of workers. <laughs> That's actually horrible. So now we can move on to poppy seeds. Obviously, you can choose to color black fondant yourself but it is the messiest color. Your hands will be beautifully stained in the process. So I choose to buy pre-made black bonnet. So just take off tiny little bits. Now don't forget about your cake. If it's been 20 minutes, you've got to re-ice it again. This time we're gonna ice it with a little bit more buttercream. Now we're gonna pop these babies back in the fridge for another 20 minutes. They're maxing and relaxing in the fridge. <laughs> They're mixing. Come on, kids, stay on your side. I feel bad, this is like seed segregation. So our cake should be ready. I'm gonna set up now so that I can roll fondant to cover our bagels. So the buttercream is actually hard to the touch. That's what you're looking for. I actually like to wet my hands a little and use my fingertips to just smooth these little lines we get here in the buttercream. Your hands shouldn't be soaking wet. They're just damp. This cake is supposed to look like bread. It doesn't have to be as smooth as a piece of plastic, but it's nice to get out the ridges just so that the fondant has a nice base to stick to. Now make sure your hands are really dry before you roll out your fondant. Fondant and water are not friends. We can color our fondant to look like a bagel. And we're using ivory once again. Just like coloring the fondant for the seeds, we want to just add the color little by little. I like to fold it in on itself while I'm kneading so that your hands don't get super messy. And then sort of push all your seams to the bottom like that. You won't see those because we're gonna roll that face down. I'm gonna address the hole from the underside. Match up to 
what's there. You can use a paintbrush. That way you don't have to worry about, you know, your nails and you can just gently pat on it. Two naked bagels. But don't worry, they're gonna get all dressed up like our model right here and they're gonna look just as good. To paint our cakes, we're gonna have our model right in front of us and we're gonna take a little of our ivory color once again, who's our best friend today. Put a little bit in a bowl and then slowly add a little bit of clear alcohol. A bagel doesn't really have a lot of color. We just want little highlights of color, but you do want to make enough to go around both bagels. You can actually use your little garbage pieces of fondant as a tester. So I like to start at the bottom, go around, work my way up. You don't want to bring the darker areas too much down the side because the bagel would brown mostly on the top. If you're making this cake for someone you don't like, you can make a burnt bagel. And we can actually add our seeds right away because when we throw our seeds on, they're just going to stick to that. And as our paint dries, they will be stuck to the bagel. And we're going to make a cream cheese sandwich. So when cutting the bagel, we're going to cut around the outside and then bring our knife to the inside. It feels like a bagel, it looks like a bagel, but it tastes like cake. So once your bagel's cut, we're gonna make a cream cheese sandwich with our buttercream. Just act like it's a sandwich. It looks delicious. If you really want to have fun, you can present these bagels as breakfast in bed. Cup of coffee. I have some more buttercream and a little ramekin to look like cream cheese and some jam. Place it on the plate carefully and just prop it up lightly on the other bagel. And there you have it. Who wouldn't want this for breakfast? Thank you, you did well. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel.